I'm Dr. Janae Brown, and this is Dr. Nicole Palermo. We are two physical therapists at Physical Therapy San Pedro, and today we are coming to talk to you about moving. We want you to keep moving, and we're here to encourage you, so we want you to tune in and stick with us. If you're struggling right now with being motivated with moving, we're going to talk to you about and have a discussion with each other about some ways to keep you guys motivated during this time. Yes. So for the past six weeks, um, personally, um, I have had my own journey with um, the whole moving thing and exercising and staying fit. Dr. P, I know you have as well. Um, I have personally been trying to exercise daily and stay in a daily routine of working out um, at least Monday through Friday, but also on the weekends as well, just staying fit, doing home workouts and things that are with our local gyms um, and just committing to that. And actually I've gotten into a fluid system of doing that pretty much every day. Go, I'm trying to go on a walk daily take my dog for a walk or go for a run at least once a week. I'd love to do more. Sometimes I get in more, but running, getting outside. Um, so that's been sort of my journey of trying to stay fit, mobile, and active. It's not easy. It's been really hard um, to stay uh, motivated with that and um, encouraged with that because we're in our homes right now. We're in our homes all the time, and we are in our homes working. We're in our homes with our families. We're cooking at home. We're eating at home. And then to work out in your home or even in your backyard, it's difficult. So I'm not going to take this, make light of this and make, make this seem like it's an easy thing to do. But I do know it's important and Dr. P as well. So we want to encourage you guys, give you guys some of our own personal experience, share some reasons why we want to keep moving um, and keep you guys on that train of doing that. So Dr. P, why don't you share with us, what have you been doing right now? Or how have you been staying uh, uh, active? What are some things you've been doing? Yeah, so I mean, I appreciate you saying that it's definitely not been an easy transition because it hasn't been. I mean, I'll admit, like the first two weeks of the stay at home orders, I was a little mentally stressed out, um, as I'm sure most of you guys are or have been. Um, so it was really difficult for me personally working out and being mentally stressed. It's just like a lot of my body, and I tend to get more fatigued, and um, I just I can't handle it. So the first two weeks, I really laid low with exercise. And I think I relied more on like meditation, on yoga, just getting daily walks in with my dog and getting outside to get some, um, some sun. And that really helps like keep me at bay and not freak out too much. Um, but yeah, I was really still trying to move every single day, because that's what our body needs. And we'll talk more about that. But after the first couple weeks, I was like, okay, I'm done with it. I'm like, a big proponent of weightlifting and strength training. And I was like, my body feels like it's getting weaker and more stiff. I was like, I need to start training again. So I have my own personal dumbbells at home and I've been doing living room workouts with my husband or by myself. I've been um, trying to run more, which is not my favorite thing, but I've been running at least two, three times a week um, with my dog, without my dog. Um, so that's kind of what, where I'm at right now. Um, I've been taking some like online yoga classes and just, you know, every day just trying to do something, even if I'm like, okay, I'm a little sore or I'm not working, don't really feel like working out. I get on the floor, I stretch, um, I never put my yoga mat away. I just kind of like let it be out so I know that I can use it. And it's really helpful like in these times, just so you feel like you're just not like alone and isolated and you just, I've been trying to get outdoors and you know, let my body just move and um, discover new ways to work out. So it's, yeah. been, it's been a cool time. Yeah. Um, I think that we, well, me, you and I both know that we need to keep um, moving. And I think for us, like being in clinic, I think we did a little bit more movement with our patients too. So, um, you know, when you're at home, and you're watching someone on a screen and you're watching what they're doing, you're less likely because you can't, you're not next to them to sort of, you can't look away as much and kind of, you, you kind of need to have your eyes completely on them. So we're, I feel like I'm not getting some of that mobility work that I used to get with them with my patients. I would show an exercise and do a cat camel or what, you know, do something with them. And 
I'm getting a less, definitely less mobility and um, exercise work in that I would have gotten normally in the clinic. Um, yeah, so, I, definitely, I, you know, it's, go ahead. I definitely feel for the, the desk workers. We're getting a little insight into 40 hours of being at a desk and sitting on an uncomfortable chair for myself. My yeah. back is starting to talk to me and I'm like, oh gosh, I need to, I need to figure out my, I've like tried different positions with my desk and standing versus sitting versus, you know, taking breaks. It's, it's been, it's been interesting. Yeah. But definitely getting outdoors is something that helps uh, my mental state. That's yeah, sure for sure. For sure. Um, yeah. So we, we are getting a little taste of what that looks like um, of not being able to be in, you know, in clinic as much with our patients. We are in clinic, but we're not as much as we were before. Dr. P, why, why do you think we need to keep moving? Like, you know, um, some people might right now in the beginning, they were like, you know, probably like, you know what, I just, I'm taking, I'm especially like athletes, competitive athletes who have, who are doing like four or five hour workouts a day or working out at least once a day. Some people are like, this is a nice break. I just want to stop. Um, other people just taking the break to take the break, you know, um, doing it with everybody else. But why is it important that we need to keep moving during this time? Yeah, so if you follow us at all, um, you understand already that we are huge movement proponents. Um, we really just emphasize daily movements, keeping your joints mobile and strong and flexible. That is all going to help us um, continue to just be better efficient humans. Um, but I think this time has been really nice so that you can be creative with your movement. So a lot of people rely on the gym and dumbbells and barbells or coach and your team. But I think we, this time can allow us to just like be alone with our bodies outdoors and just like learn how to move and exercise in different ways and not have to rely on, on other external things to get, to get the job done. Um, so it's just important. We don't, we don't want to, stiffen up in this time. We want to keep our body prepared for movement. We want to stay strong. I mean, muscles atrophy super fast when you don't use them. Um, and our joints only, our bodies only give us what we give it. So if you give it the couch and no movement, it's going to return that to you. So it's just really important uh, for mental health and everything to keep, keep moving. Yep. So physically we're, we you know, we're in the physical business, right? We, we want people, we're, we're trying to help people reduce injury risk. Um, we know um, that you um, got to keep your body moving to feel good um, for your body just in itself to feel good, go through all its ranges, move your muscles, you know, all that stuff. But also um, exercise is huge at reducing stress, you know, reducing mental mental health right now is super important right now. Um, it's a not when you exercise, you re reduce, you know, you release endorphins in your body. And we all know that because when we try to get ourselves to work out, you know, and go, nobody wants to go, nobody wants to do it. You know, maybe you're there, you're that one person who, and I actually, I do enjoy working out. I like to do it, but I like to do it because I know what's going to happen after. I know how my body feels after, but getting there is hard for everybody, right? Um, so, um, we know, we know that when we're done, we feel amazing, you know, we feel great. And so, and that's because your body is releasing endorphins, um, and, and it's natural feel good and it's feel good. That is actually good. It's not feel good. That is bad. You know, so, um, you're not going to later go, Oh, I really shouldn't have exercised that. You know, I feel so horrible about that. You know, like we do when we eat bonbons, cause it feels good to eat, you know, I want to eat that bonbon. It's going to make me feel good. It does make you feel good. And then after you're like, crap, why'd I do that? Exercise doesn't do that to you. <laughs> so you're never going to feel bad after, but it's always hard to get there. But we need, you know, it's great. Right now we need, we're all stressed out. We're all in a place of, this is not normal. This is not what we're used to. We're, we're in place. Some people are losing jobs. Some people are taking care of home and work at home and, you know, our stress levels that have increased, we're not getting to do the things we want to do. Um, this is one way where you can continue to keep your body and your mind healthy. Um, so we want to encourage you guys to do that. Um, also, you know, life's going to go back to normal, right, Dr. P? So when life goes back to normal, what, what's going to happen with our athletes? Like what, what are we facing if people stop moving right now? 
Yeah. So we want to be here for you guys, but we don't want to need you guys to need us because, you know, here's the example, perfect example is our gymnasts. They spend like four hours of practice, five days a week, and they're making their bodies resilient over time. And if you just stop doing what you're doing and then you, you know, once the gym's open back up and you just go right into four hour practices again, your body is going to hate you. Yep. It's going to be sore, it's going to get strained and uh, tired and fatigued so quickly. So it's super important to our athletes out there to keep doing sports specific skills. Mm -hmm. So if you, you know, just keep doing the drills that your coaches gave you, keep being mobile and flexible for what you need to do um, in sport so that it's not going to be such a shock when you go back. Yeah. Yeah. So people need to right now keep doing sports specific drills. If you're an athlete, if you're a basketball player, you need to do ball handling drills. You need to be out, outside shooting. You need to be dribbling. You need to be doing anything you can. If you're a gymnast, you need to be practicing your, your beam drills, your mat floor skills. Um, if you're um, a soccer player, you need to be out kicking the ball and doing footwork and things like that. You need to keep doing sports specific stuff and your coaches should have resources for you for that. If not, reach out to your coach. Fine. There's resources everywhere. You can find them on YouTube, anywhere. Keep moving. Um, and if you're, if you're a runner, you know, keep running. If you're, uh, if you're somebody who does yoga, keep doing that. Keep your body flexible and mobile. Um, you also, right now, this is, you need to keep moving your body weight, right? Dr. P like, so if you can't do anything right now, you can, you can do squats, you can do push-ups, you can do pull-ups, you can move your own body weight. Get oh, yeah. good at that. People, a lot of people aren't even good at moving their own body weight, right? You know, at all. Get good at that that skill. And you know, if you don't know what to do, right? There's a ton of free stuff out there, right, Dr. P? Like, there's a there's a ton of people working together right now to put out free home workouts, um, free um, you know, just workouts that you can follow online. And do I know a ton of trainers who have, are moving their have moved their systems to Zoom and um, Google Hangouts and things like that, where you can come in do a workout or a training session via that way. Um, so everybody is trying to be helpful right now. Like nobody wants anybody to feel alone. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think if you if you do feel alone and lost, reach out to your coach. Reach out to a family member. Reach out to us online um, it will help guide you because you know you shouldn't feel lost in this time um, and you know your body wants to move so we want you to keep it moving and we're here to help and there's lots of people here to help um, so use those resources spend your time wisely um, yeah that's right and we know personally in our own area there's uh, local gyms that are offering um, free home workouts. I've been doing them with All Fit Gym in San Pedro and with Heyday Elite Fitness in San Pedro. But I know there's more out there. Shout out to them. Thank you guys for doing these workouts for people. I know a ton of you guys are out there are doing it. So thank you, all you trainers and coaches and people who are providing these free things. Thank you for doing what you're doing. Um, I know that there's, there's so much value in what you're doing. So we appreciate it. Um, Dr. P, how can people find us and follow us? So, um, if you look at our website, which uh, we have been revamping, Dr. Brown is always doing wonderful things with our website. Check out our website, read our blog, um, our Instagram. Please subscribe to our Instagram, um, Facebook, YouTube. Look at look at all of our videos. There's great ideas on body weight movements on those videos. So we'd love to just have you join in, and you can hashtag um, keep moving and you know tag us in all your videos. Um, they're really good resources for you. So follow us and um, just check out our stuff. We'd love That's to have right. you as part of our. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. Bye. Bye.